Hey guys, so today um, I am bringing you the video that I know a lot of you have been anticipating and for those of you who are just clicking on it out of interest, um, this isn't, uh, it's really, throughout my last relationship I was in it for just over a year and Whenever I would get upset or something, instead of writing it down, I would use the webcam on my um, laptop as like something to let my emotions out. I was very honest and didn't actually um, record them with the intention of uploading them onto the internet. However, I wasn't happy in that relationship and for a long, long time I was fighting with knowing what I wanted, what I should do, um, how to deal with situations that I wasn't quite comfortable in and really um, I think it might be helpful and I just, I'm, it's something I want to talk about because my subscribers are kind of, I see them as friends, you know, and it's a part of my life that some people know about but they don't know to the extent, so um, this isn't supposed to be like a, I'm, what's the word, like bringing the other person down that I was in a relationship with, um, not at all because do you know what, I, I'm, I'm over it, like I don't care about that, um, but I don't want it to come across as being malicious, it's being honest and it's my opinion of a relationship and you'll see exactly how my um, views and attitude changes throughout the um, entire thing. So this first clip you're going to see is of the first day that we started going out which was I believe the 4th of March 2012. So as of yesterday um, I got a new boyfriend who I really like I can't stop thinking about makes me feel great um, about myself and it's just there yeah, like it's nice as you can see I was really happy and things were going great obviously I mean it was the first day but um I was really happy and my mood changed and you know I wanted to change my looks and that um this next one is actually a month into the relationship and um, I started to kind of notice things that weren't quite right. So, I don't really watch to do at the moment because, um, a while ago, I didn't text me saying that it feels like we're falling apart. And I can kind of understand where it's coming from because. I kind of felt a bit like that as well, but only in this past couple of days. Then when I asked him why and what he was on about, he thought that we seemed distant. And now when I try to ask what's wrong, um, he's not even talking to me. He's not. I'm worried because I just want to tell me what they So to me that sounded like um, I was sure of what I wanted however he wasn't sure and made me feel really confused and unsure of what was going on like I don't want to be in a relationship that you know it's just one-sided that's not fair at all and that's not how relationships are now this next clip is actually four months in and since that time i had been asked to move in with him um to his flat which you know it was nice it was exciting and i bought loads of stuff to decorate the flat because he wasn't too bothered i spent a ton of money i did all the cleaning did all the washing did it all like you know housewife kind of thing like i mean i was working at the time too but even still, I thought things were fine, and he sat me down and asked me to leave. So today is the day that um, I 
they're almost together. I'm getting picked up pretty soon. Um, we spoke about the whole thing last night, and um, it's not a breakup. It's just me not living here. Um, just because he wants some space, and um, he's not sure really what he wants. He wants me, but he doesn't know living wise what he wants. And um, I can't help but feel upset about that because the past time that you've been several times, I finally live here and want to bring more stuff here, and um, he thinks so. And uh, he sits me down and says that, um, then he drops a hole and doesn't know if he wants to live with me kind of thing. Now I can't stay here after he was told me that he doesn't, he's not sure if he wants me to be here or not, uh, all the time. So now I can't stay here because I feel like I am a burden and as though I am in the way. Boys can never just be my company and just enjoy my company. And I don't know what because it's it maybe I love the other person way too much and that it doesn't we don't have to do anything. We don't have to really talk or anything as long as I'm in the company of that person that I adore so much. I don't, I don't get bored, but he's bored. The reason for that was actually that he felt like I wasn't giving him space and um, I got all my stuff packed and was really upset and my sister came and picked me up and um, it was really quite awkward for me. Um, you know, like he told me we weren't breaking up, he just wanted me out. <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense, but whatever, it was his place and it was his decision. Um, actually, I got home I to make myself feel better, redid my hair and did my makeup and started fresh. Was getting over it, right? And he actually called me. This is just a few hours later. Well, I still think you should think about it first. What it is that you want. So basically what he asked me um, during that phone call was that why I moved out. <laughs> yeah, why I moved out even though he'd asked me to. Um, and he actually said that he didn't actually mean it like that. What? That, you know, you want space, you want me to move out, I move out and then I'm the one that's in the wrong. Uh, doesn't really make sense. Um, so that was... Pissed, that pissed me off and so once my mum come home obviously I had to explain why I was back home and um, this is how the conversation went. He started to empty and then he said like on the phone, oh um, what, why have you left? I said because you told me to. He goes, well I wasn't thinking about it, he goes oh I was just being a dick, I was sick of the flat being cluttered. And I just took it out on you. I'm sorry for taking it out on you. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And uh, because I oh, will you come back when I can't. It's not as easy as that. And guess what? I said because think about it. I was like, you told my mom that I was moving in, and then now I told her that I'm moving back here. I can't when she comes in tell her that oh I'm going again. I said it can't work like that. I said, you're messing her around as much as you're messing me around. He was like, oh, okay. I'm not, yeah, it's a bit awkward, so I don't really know what's going on. But I said to him, like, every time I make, or, like, you ask me to move in, then every time I suggest bring in, like, pro moving in properly, you freak out. You go, share with me, which is a big thing. I don't know, because he started telling me one thing and doing another. Because when he, like, sat me down, he was like, I'm only 21, I don't, I don't want to settle down yet and all this. I'm just not sure. Not really. Because I want to be able to do things, I don't even want. I said to him last night, I was like, what am I stopping you from doing? 
So my mum wasn't particularly happy about the whole situation, um, obviously because it messes her living situation up too. Um, obviously I still have my room here, like it's exactly the same, but um, that then puts stress on her financially as well for me to keep moving in, moving out. Um, the next clip you're going to see is actually for a Skype conversation um, I had with Adam at the time. That was six months into the relationship and um, he was quite um, into going out and drinking and really that wasn't what I was into at that point. Um, I don't drink and um, don't quite like it. So I mean you can see that I'm becoming a bit more tense. Oh my God. I couldn't care less to be honest. Oh, Alcohol. No, because it involves you being a dick. What? I'm being a dick. Yeah. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh. I love you, Bertha. Oh, sorry, I'm going to get down. I do love you, but we just need to talk about some things, that's all. About what? Because. I don't know, there used to be a time when you wanted to spend time with me and we didn't have to have a reason. Uh, uh, but it was you that pissed me off. All I wanted was a fight with somebody and then you'd have the reason. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't because I mean, there was no point in me trying to say anything because you're just coming at, back at me again. No, I don't want that at all. I just don't like being messed around, and which you are doing, whether you realise it or not, you are messing me around again. Because we're together every day, it's not the same as if we only spent, like, say, the weekend together. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's what. That's where. You need a reason to be with me. I also want to be with you, I don't know. I'll be I'll get bored on my own too easily, so... Yeah, I know, but you've just said that what else was we going to do if you weren't going out? So just quickly, the main thing I took from that is the fact that he didn't like being on his own. I didn't know if you um, caught it, but... It felt like I was only there just because he didn't want to be on his own. I can't stand being messed around. I won't stand for it. I will go if I'm being messed around. And um, as much as it would hurt and be horrible and I would miss him, I deserve so much better than to be messed around and played. I want the guy who I fell in love with, who wanted me and only me, who gave me butterflies every time I saw him and who wanted to treat me like a princess every single day and uh, I feel like he does still treat me well but sometimes uh, he perhaps only thinks about himself as you can see, it felt like things weren't the same. I it wasn't the same person that I did fall in love with and I was desperate to get that back. However, I didn't know what I needed to do in order to get that back because I didn't want to give up on it. The next clip is actually seven months in and um, through being, <coughs> you know, unhappy, unstable and unsure of what I should do, I consulted in a mutual friend of ours, which then got me in trouble, as you'll see. Like honestly, I'm I'm quite like upset about it because I wasn't aware that I'd done something wrong. Then he's like having this massive go at me, and then he says that I'm the one that's been really strange just lately. So more often than not, he um would arrange to spend time with me and then actually cancel on me so he could go get pissed with his friends. That is the one thing that really, really fucking bothered me. Um, no problem with him going out, but it would be last minute. So, you know, I often I would be dressed and ready to be, like, picked up or whatever for him to come around or, you know, and then it'd be like, oh, actually, I'm going out. And I don't care what you say. <laughs> fucking how rude is that? Um, this next clip was actually from um, 
New Year's Eve, I think, yes, this was New Year's Eve, one of the worst nights of my entire life. I had spent the whole day with a really close friend of mine who lives in Birmingham and, you know, she'd come over, slept the night before and we spent New Year's Eve together, um, just the daytime. And basically, um, this is eight months into a relationship. He texts me saying, do you want to spend another night with your friend? So then I was just like, why? I know what's coming. It's going to cancel on me. Bearing in mind, New Year's Eve was supposed to be our night spent together um, as a couple for him to prove that I mean more to him than going out. And he basically texted me saying he was going out with his friends and he didn't care what I said. That's what the text said. Um, I was really, really down and upset and quite frankly questioning um, the relationship as a whole. I mean, you can, you can just, just watch it. <laughs> I feel like I don't know where I stand. And I feel like I'm so it's just gonna continue on and on until I am how many times do you give someone a chance when they keep fucking up with this exact same thing? I always, always let myself a sweet talk. So that I can do whatever the fuck he wants. At that point, I was so broken down, so upset, and felt like I was getting walked all over. I just, I didn't know what to do. Um, but a month later, things seemed to start getting better, and maybe i was a little bit happier things recently have been pretty fine um in the way of my relationship with adam there was only one situation where he came round we were supposed to spend the night together and he ended up going out instead that um i didn't it bothered me but it didn't bother me that much because he was with work friends and i know that he couldn't really help it as much as he can if it was friends. Um, he did say to me that he wished he'd never gone, that he should have spent it with me, blah blah blah. So now he's showing kind of like repentance after he's acknowledged he's done something wrong, which is good. So they're showing progress. Eleven months into a relationship, um, it is the next clip you're going to see. I actually. Things started to get better, but there were still times when it was up and down, and um, I kept an eye on how things were, pretty much. Something has been bothering me lately. Um, I feel like I've been spending a lot of time with Adam, and that he's not kind of giving me the attention that I really, really want. At this point, I really felt like I wasn't get the, getting the attention that I wanted. Um, you know, I'm not an attention whore. I quite, I'm quite happy to be on my own a lot of the time to have um, minimal contact if you have to. Um, I don't mind that because I'm just that kind of person. Um, really, I wasn't kind of getting what I wanted and it was it was upsetting me but i had made him aware of this um several times our anniversary was soon approaching so i actually held out for that and hoped that you know it would be something brilliant my anniversary was on monday it is now thursday i had one of the worst days couple of days would ever have my anniversary was ruined and I was disappointed. Um, in the morning, Adam had to go to his granddad's to like clear stuff out, which I understand and I don't mind. And then he messed around with his car for the rest of the day. Said it would be a quick job. It was like pretty much all day. So that was really annoying. And then later on in the night, he said, um, said something like, 
Oh, it didn't need to be done, but it was bugging me, so I did it. I pretty much spent my anniversary being upset. Because a year ago on that day, I made that video and I was so happy and so love struck and I I couldn't help but think how different I felt a year on. As you can see, my anniversary didn't go quite how I wanted it to. I told it now, I'm not happy, which I'm not. Um, I don't know how to make that better, you know, I don't know, maybe if it's gone past the point of being happy and I don't know because I mean I love him I love him to bits but there's just things that are just just annoying me. That piece of footage was filmed just 16 days later so just over two weeks later um I decided to speak to him and said that you know I'm not happy um I do want to try and change things um but if you don't make an effort to change things then I'm going. <laughs> It's, it's simple as that, like how many chances can you give someone once you tell them you, that you're not happy? Surely if the person you love tells you they're not happy um, and they're willing to leave you in order to get happy, um, you would want to do something about it. You would think nothing really happened and you'll see how my attitude changed. So I am back once again with another situation and this time I'm well and truly fed up. The past week I've spent with Adam has been, it's been nice. However, um, yesterday I sat down with him and, you know, we kind of had an argument but not a proper one. Now, I basically laid down the law and said, if I'm not happy, I'm going to leave. Because I was telling him things that were bothering me and he was just trying to fuck it up and not pay attention and just be like yeah whatever so one year one month in um this next piece of footage is from and things just didn't really get better for the past little while things with adam have been pretty crappy um i haven't been happy it hasn't been particularly complimentary or I don't know. It's just not going as I'd like it to. Um, I did meet someone called Chris on Friday. Actually, he was really, really nice. So after that, I did actually break up with him. Um, just to note, for those of you who don't know, I did break up with him, and regardless of whatever was said to anyone I broke up with him. I actually mentioned that I met someone called Chris and um, I actually met Chris while I was out in town one night and I wasn't looking for him and he, he is now my boyfriend as some of you may have seen in my fifth outfit of the other day he's super super cute and um, has honestly just like turned my life around he is amazing really really genuine really really lovely really really sexy and I'm so attracted to him and do you know what happiness and love does exist sometimes we find it in the wrong places and at the end of the day you need to do what's best for you if you're not happy tell the person you're not happy communication is key and I think that was lacking on the other side in that relationship um, but once again, um, this isn't a slating video, this is my honest opinion and I very much expect I'll be getting a nasty text um, as a result of this. You know, I've already had all those and occasionally still get them along with um, <coughs> texts from his friends too, which I thought were my friends but obviously not. Um, I'm happy and if you can't accept it then fuck you, I don't need you in my life. I'm happy with the people that are in my life and the friends I have that are supportive and that's all that matters. I could not give two shits about what other people think. I have the most amazing boyfriend and that's, 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 
it that's the bottom line um i hope you enjoyed and i hope you sat through this really long video um let me know what you think similar situations put them down below links to my facebook instagram and tumblr are down below so if you want to come over and follow me that would be cool um apart from that have a lovely day and i will see you in the next video bye guys